Assalamu alaikum friends. I hope you all are well. Today, I made this video for our users who created the client approval, but they did some mistakes. And they created the client approvals, they submitted, and it will go in, in processing status. It is showing that it is in, in it is in the status of processing, but still they has there are some errors. They did not follow up their sales order. And they are saying that our purchaser did not get our PR. They cannot create the PO against our sale order because they don't know the concept. So today I will show you the concept how the PR will create it. And if there is any error, how you will check it. Okay. Number one, if I want sale order number, I want to search. What I will show you here, I will click on the sale order. And I go to the manage order where you can search your sale order number. If I, I will click on the search, I will see all the sale order created by the users, our requesters. If you see this type of error, past due, past due, it means nothing. It's, it is in processing. If you click on it, 10003, and you want to check the PR is created or not, then what do you want to do? Because it is in in processing status. Again, this said order is in processing status. If it is pending approval status, it means it's still pending from the approval. Therefore, he did not approve it yet. But if the status is in processing and you want to check the PR is created or not, because see, there is a red, um, you can say it is error, this one. This cross is error. And this type of thing like pass due, this is not the error, this is just a warning. But I want to check, even this is coming, is it the PR is created or not? I will click on it. I will go to action, go to switch to fulfillment view. Here I can see, go down in the supply details, the PR is created. It means there is no issue in this sale order. The PR is already automatically created. There is no issue. But if there is any issue like this one, uh -huh. like this one, 1015. Check Check karna. Recorded hai ki nahi check karna. Okay. Uh, if you check this one, like 1015, this has some error. How can I check the error? Let me show you the how, how you can check the error. For example, this one. I will click on it because this cross is error. If you will check, check now, the PR is not created against this sale order because there has some issues, some errors. How you will check again go to action switch to fulfillment view here go down you will see in the requisition there is no pr created against this sale order but you have to check the error if there are three lines four lines just click on the first line or go to the message type what is the error and in the in the message type just click on the second line in the second line it will show you the error this Error is related to the purchase order. This is something else, but I want to show you one error which you can resolve easily if you will get this error. So I will give you the number, the example. Okay, example is, for example, I have one number. This number is 14002. Created by Sanjay and uh, related to MOC. It is in a processing status, but it is in error. What is the error? I will click on this. It will show me the error. Here also I can see the error. Just click on the second line. It will show you whenever you will get this error. Just check the first line, the message type, message first. Click on the second line. Whatever is written in the first line, this is your main error. If you will resolve this, it means class you will easily process this and it will create the PR. 
if I will click on it and I will let like before I show you, there is no PR created against this sale order. So if I click here, here it is showing me the requested delivery date must be on and after current date. How you will resolve this, this type of error? Very easy. What you will do? First, you will check the PR is created or not because this is in an error. The PR is really, yeah, it's sure not created. Just click on it on the action and view. Sorry, switch to fulfillment view. When you click on switch to fulfillment view, you will see down the PR is not created against the sale order. Means there is the issue. What is the issue? What you will do? Again, you will just search your work order num uh, sale order number. This is the sale order number. Just click, just click on the sale order number and sale order number. After that action, switch to fulfillment view. And here, if there are three lines, four lines, five lines, no matter. It doesn't matter. Just what you will do. If there are three or four lines, just click it here. It will cop. It will any you know, like uh, your created PR. Just click it on this uh, fulfillment line left side. It will select all the lines. Then go to here. Edit. Just click on edit. Then overwrite schedule. Make it yes. And here, what is the date today? Date today date is now 12th April. Change it to more than two days, 14. Same date here also, 14. And save and close. When you click save and close, still the error you will see here, it will not go. Just click OK. The error is still here, but you have to go up, refresh it. Refresh it or just wait for one minute. See, the error is gone now. It's resolved now. It's green. It means it's resolved. So this is the delivery date error, how you will resolve the delivery date error. Just click on done. And you will see there is no error now. And uh, if you will see after one minute, again, you will see the PR number is also created. If I go again, switch to fulfillment view. And down, I will see the PR number is created now. Here you can see your PR number. The second thing everybody was asking, I don't know this is my sale order number. I don't know what is my PR number. How can I follow up my PR? So just enter your sale order number, then go to the order, click on it. Go action, switch to fulfillment view. In the fulfillment view down, you will see in the requisition, this is your PR number. Then you can ask your buyer or you can uh, send email to your buyer or a message that this is the PR number created against your uh, project. Please follow and make the PO. So today, this is the main thing I want to show you how to resolve the error. But whenever you will create any client approval and you submit it, at that time, if you will change the date, it, this error will not come. But if this error will come because it's already approved, from the approver. Even it is approved from the approver, but the status is in processing and giving you some red color here, giving you some error like this one. Show me. Uh, okay, again, I will show you one more work order. Like I have number. These are the issues from one client, and they have how many client approvals? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Almost 30, 40 client approvals he created, but it was in error and he did not follow up. If you did not follow up, it will be more. And maybe in the last day, you will find that these are some errors and the PR is not getting like you are follow up your PRs and POs. You have to follow up your sale order also. If there is any error, you have to check it. So, like another number for one, four, zero, zero. See, just search it. And see, this is the error. If you want to see the error, you can click on it. When you click on it, it will show you two lines. In the second line, just click on it. And this is requested date error. Because in this sale order, maybe there are five lines, three lines. That was the error. That, that's why the error is more here. Like not, not only two lines, there may, may be 
whatever the error it is, six lines, seven lines, first resolve this. If the error still remain there after resolving this, then contact to IT. Again, I will show you how to resolve this. I, one once more time. One more time I'm showing you. Four double zero three. Search it. Click on it. Go to action. Show to switch to fulfillment view. Because there are five, six lines, that's why it is coming more errors. So I will click here to all select all. Click on the edit. In the edit, I will go to the overhead schedule. Yes. Change the date to 14. 14, like more than two days. Or one day, no issue. Still it is in processing, but the requisition is not created. If you see here. When I save and close again, click OK and I refresh it. I refresh it two or three times and it will be. Go. Now error will go on now. And. After some time, it will show you the green. Green means it's resolved. If I click now done. And done. You will see the error is resolved. Another thing, this is the delivery date error. In the in uh, if the error is like delivery date, but if the error is you are making some client approval and you change the unit of majors, whatever the unit of majors is coming from the item like each, and you change to cans, and these type of errors you are uh, getting here that the unit is not uh, valid against the item code. So what you will do? I will show you another number that is for example. One. Five zero zero one. OK. It is also delivery date error. I know these are related to the delivery date error, so I can resolve it easily. It will not go for approval again. See the, the value is must be price attribute. It must be attributed by the no list price defined for the item. The schedule ship date. OK, first I will resolve this by our. Way. Click on it. Action. OK, one minute. For example. These errors are related to the price that you have to change the price here or you have to change the quantity or you have to change the or you need to change um, in, in your sale order. They return the PR because you, they want to change the quantity. They want to change the price. They want to change the. For example, you change the unit of major here, but in the P, uh, in the PR it is coming some other. Any whenever you will click any item, you will search it. It will go. It will show you the box. If you change this box to each. Next time when the PR is created and they will create the PO at that time, they will get the error related to the unit because in our system, the unit is box and you change to each. So don't change it. First, but if you want to, if you have anything. Which uh, they want to change any, they return the PO, PR and they said, please change the item code. This item is not uh, this item is not related to this item which you need according to the client approval, something like this, or you change the unit of major and in the PO, the unit of major is something else. Then you have to create the revision. The create revision means it will clone the sale order with the same order number with the draft status. Now the status is in processing. Status is in processing. When you click the uh, revision, it will create the same sale order number with all the information you only will change the uh, you will delete the item code from here. If you want to add more items or if you want to change the quantity or price and you will submit again and if it will go for again from approval. But if the status is in processing and you will. Uh, again, if the status is in processing the same, I will check. There are many errors, but I will resolve it by my only one day. If the, it will work, it means others errors are nothing. Click on it. And again, action switch to fulfillment view. And here I will select all. Then edit this one. Edit. Go down. Over there, schedule yes. Schedule date like 14. Then 14. 
save and close. After save and close, I will refresh it and I will check it. If the error is gone, colors. It means every time when you will get any error, try to resolve by this way. If still the error is still there, and it is not giving you the green signal, again refresh it. Then contact to our IT team. Or contact to me. So that's all green. It means error is gone. And the PR is also created. If you see after some time, again, the PR is not there before. But if you click on again there, you will see. Uh, still, it will take one to four minutes to create the PR. But I have to check if the error is resolved or not. No, still the error is there. The error is now. So still, it's showing green, but the error is still there. So this is not related to the delivery date. I have to check it later, but I already show you how to resolve the delivery date error. So if you have getting the delivery date error, how you resolve it, you already saw. And uh, please uh, share this video to all your uh, colleagues who need to create the client approvals or say no. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.